My name is Bunny Kill, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use voice meter banana, how to set it up, how to split your audio and how to use it in Discord, Spotify, whatever. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell, leave a like and leave a comment so YouTube is happy. And yeah, let's get into this video. Alright guys, what you're gonna do then is go down to the first link in the description down below and you're gonna find a Google Drive link. It'll get you this drawer and you unpack and you get this file. You're gonna double click it, double click voice meter, you gotta set up voice meter just like you would any other program. Then what you're gonna do is open folder A to C and you're gonna click on every cable underscore setup 64. It's gonna tell you to install the drivers. What you're gonna do then is restart your PC. After you've restarted your PC, you're gonna open settings, system, you go to sound, you're gonna open sound control panel and you're gonna check if the cables are there. So you're gonna see these three cables. If they're there, you're gonna double click them. Change the name to Discord, desktop audio, and Spotify slash YouTube. I would suggest doing it exactly how I've been doing right now. And if you want to test out any other thing, just do it after this video so you know the basics. So after you've set it up, don't worry about this being default device or this being default communications device. That doesn't matter at all. And this will change later. So you're going to do apply and OK. You're going to keep the screen open. Just minimize it. Then what you're going to do is go to voice meter. It's probably not on your desktop. So just type it in. Then what you're going to do is just look at what I'm doing. Because if you've changed this right now, it will fuck up your YouTube player. And that's just quite annoying. So what you're going to do is a1 wdm speaker slash headphone so it takes all your sounds it puts you as an output in the voice meter so it can split the audio into the three lanes at once and everything else goes through the uh, the b cable which is desktop audio if you haven't split anything it will just go through desktop audio so that's what it's done then you're going to put one SWDM cable output VB audio virtual cable. You're gonna put this at KS cable A and this is KS cable B. And now what we're gonna do is set it as our default device. So you're gonna click this and I click it on desktop audio. We're gonna test the sound. If you've seen the bar go up, it works and you're golden. If it hasn't, it sometimes it, it I have the glitch like twice and I've used it for over four months now. So what you're going to do to fix that is click on here, change it to any other cable and change it back. And then what you're going to do is try it again. And as you can see, it worked. Now what you're going to do, you open Discord, go to voice or video, you go to output device and click on the Discord cable or any cable you've set to Discord for me, it's eight. Then what you're going to do is put on let's check for your mic test so you see audio. Then you're going to go to your voice meter and as you can see, it moves whenever I talk. So you know it works. And that's super nice. So now whenever your teammates are too loud for you, you can just mute it. Or whenever it's too loud for stream, you can just tweak in a stream, which I'll show you how to do as well at the end of the video. So you can put it really low or whenever it's in stream, fine, but you hear your teammates are not hard enough or you want to put it a little higher, you can just boom, turn it up or mute it or solo it or mono it, whatever you like. Now what we're gonna do is Spotify and YouTube or your browser. What we're gonna do now is set up your YouTube and your Spotify audio. What you're gonna do is open your set, open Spotify, make sure a song is playing, open your settings, go to advanced sound options, app volume device preferences. It's gonna show Spotify, Joner Lucas or whatever song you've put on. Then you're gonna put this at your Spotify slash YouTube cable. You're gonna click it. You're gonna go back to your voice meter and see the bar goes up, so it works. You're gonna mute it. Then what you're gonna do is go to your Google, go to your any YouTube video, go to here, and as you can see, if it starts playing. Ah, exactly. Now I can show you a glitch as well. I've put it as my YouTube slash Google cable, but as you can see, it starts playing at my f cable B. And you're like, how the fuck does that work? It's a stupid thing, which it shouldn't do. But now when you've reset the cable, it's all good. This is, this is the only problem with Google Chrome and the extension that I've seen, which it sometimes just kicks it back at desktop auto, which is quite annoying, but just go back to your app volume device preferences and set it back at the cable. That's the only thing which uh, it's really annoying for, but hey, you get used to it and it is what it is. It's free, so who's really to complain? At least I don't mind. If this turns you off, then I would suggest buying GoXLR 
or uh, Elgato wave. But that uses the same logic as here. You set all your uh, outputs as the wave things. But that's besides the point. And now we're totally done. Now we're gonna set up Streamlabs OBS or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Everything works kind of the same. So, as you see, this is my scene. This is me. This is the background and I've set up some nested scene. If you guys want to know why I put up nested scene, just leave a comment down below. I'll explain everything and I'll explain how to do it uh, or I can make a video all about it if you guys want. But as you can see, I have audio here. So I have all my split audio here. If you want to just do it normally, you open this and put an input for your mic and three outputs for your output sounds. So as you see, I have a Spotify cable, a Discord cable, and a desktop audio cable, as you can see here. What this does is I can mute the individual tracks. Tracks. If you don't want Spotify playing on your stream, boom, you mute it. No one hears it on your stream, but you still hear it. You don't want your teammates or you have trolls coming into your Discord or whatever. Boom, you mute it, you're fine. You don't want desktop audio playing through your stream, you mute it, all good. You can also put it higher, lower for your stream. If someone says, oh, your teammates are too soft or too loud, you can just put it down and you don't have to put it down for you, but you can put it down for the stream, which is really convenient. After you've done that, make sure you go to mixer and set up everything. As you can see, uh, my Kio is here. I don't want any of that, but make sure everything is put at one in the advanced settings one means stream so basically you got to think of it as oh okay i got sound playing and i wanted in my stream put it at track one if you don't put it at track one it won't play through your stream so maybe you just don't want to spotify playing through your stream at all boom unthink one and it won't play through your stream at all for recording it's a different story you get track two to six for recording now what you do is put it at whatever track you like i put my input at two so i have a, a different track for it my desktop at three discord at four spotify at five sometimes it messes up it's for editing it's not that annoying it can be a little tedious though if you just want to mute the music that's playing but now with that set up now we're gonna go to settings and set everything up there. You're gonna open it, go to output, go to recording. You're gonna go to recording format and put it in MKV. We're gonna also download VLC media player. That's needed for this. That's really needed for this because if you put it in MKV and you get to any editing software, it won't recognize it. VLC media player has a converter built into it. If you use OBS or OBS Live, I'm pretty sure, it has an automatic converter in there. Streamless OBS doesn't as far as I know. So I use that and it's pretty freaking nice and i'll show you how to use that as well and i'll put a download link for the vlc media player and the documentation how to uh, convert mkv to mp4 in vlc media player so you're going to use track two to five so you're going to have your mic and three audio sources and that's good that's all you want now we're done here and now what i'm going to do is show how vlc media player works so you're just going to double click it go to media Convert or save. Go add a video. Uh, we're just gonna, let's see, this is an MKV file. We're just gonna open this. Convert slash save. You put this at video h.264 uh, plus mp3. So it uses uh, the video plus the sound and it just does boom, it does that. And then you're gonna click it. You're gonna put a destination. So you're just gonna put it here and put it, uh, call it uh, whatever. It's like league game. I'm just gonna put, call it lead game. And you're gonna do start. You see it rendered. Now you can close this. You can go to wherever your videos are. And you can see uh, if I look, oh here, yeah. you can see lead game, MP4, and it's 19 seconds. So now it's an MP4, but it was an MKV file. So that's all you need to know. All right, Bunny Flock, that was the tutorial for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm streaming tomorrow, 8 p.m. CST. I'm also streaming Monday and Tuesday next week. My schedule is Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday every week. I will be live and if not it will be on my instagram story or on my twitter all my links are in the description down below if you'd like to follow me there and yeah bunny vlog i'm out and i'll see you later
Yes. 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 Yes.